Well, it sounds like something you might read in a storybook, but for one man from London, it's a stark reality. Daniel Simmons gave up his high-flying city career to pursue a job here at London Zoo, working with gorillas. That's right, Daniel threw away his six-figure salary as a city trader to come here to London Zoo and work as a gorilla keeper. But he says he would far rather be feeding and caring for these beautiful animals, and he's never looked back. I was uh, a trader, and it was a good job, and uh, I enjoyed it, and it was good money and all the rest of it, but um, I never particularly liked it. It was never my passion. And uh, after saving up a bit of money and kind of putting myself into a slightly more stable financial position, I decided it was really time to, to give up or before I went completely mad. Um, and so I did, and I quit and managed to get a job uh, here at, at London Zoo working as a volunteer, in fact, in our invertebrate unit called Bugs, so working with a sort of whole array of insects and invertebrates, and loved it. And I was doing that uh, in my time off um, and managed somehow, fortunately, to get a job uh, working as a mammal keeper. And nine years later, I'm here working as one of the gorilla keepers at the zoo, and it's, uh, it's a fantastic job. Daniel is currently a senior gorilla keeper. He works closely with the site's resident lowland gorillas, the biggest primates at the zoo. Although not too closely, since direct contact with the animals is rather dangerous. However, some of his friends and former colleagues still don't take his new job that seriously. I think someone thought it was a joke. I think perhaps to this day they still think it's, uh, it hasn't really happened. I'm just doing it as a bit of a, bit, a bit of a joke, just bought the uniform online or something. But no, I think uh, it, it depends. And if within the sort of city community, definitely people were, lots of people were asking why, as opposed to, oh, that's great. We'd love to downshift ourselves or, or change careers ourselves. I suppose within the Jewish community, it depends. You know, Northwest London has its ways. And I think uh, whether you're a doctor, city trader, accountant, zookeeper, Bit more unique so I'm proud of it so if, uh, if others aren't then that's up to them. It is very interesting and it, uh, it's always nice I think to do something slightly different rather than kind of fitting into a social norm and uh, as you say as, as a good Jewish boy I should now be working definitely as a lawyer continuing as a, as a city successful city trader but uh, I'm quite happy to go against the grain I've pretty much gone against the grain my whole life so why stop now. Over the years that he's been doing the job Daniel says he's developed a special bond with many of the gorillas. The animals, although they're born in a zoo, still have wild instincts and it's really important that we encourage those wild behaviours the whole time. So we never treat the animals as our pets or our friends, but at the same time these are great apes, we're great apes, there is a natural affinity. Well, Daniel runs tours here at the zoo for members of his local synagogue and says he's much happier here, closer to nature, than being stuck behind a desk in the city. This is Edward Barron for JN1 in central London.